Hello and welcome to Asus UK. Yesterday, something very exciting showed up in our office. I know you guys have been pretty excited for this one. We have as well, to be honest. So um, yeah, let me introduce the ROG Claymore, the ultimate RGB mechanical gaming keyboard. First off, let's have a little look in the box and see what you get. So here is our box. If you open everything up, we have this clear plastic shield here. Take this off. You'll notice that we have two velvet bags here encased with condensed foam. So in the larger one with the ROG monogram in the corner there, hopefully you can see that it is a little bit dark, I know. But if we have a look in here, as you might expect, you will find the main keyboard, which we have here. But then what is in the smaller version? Well, you might have noticed just now that this is a full length keyboard, but it didn't come with a number pad. And that is because it is in this smaller bag here. The number pad is separate and detachable. So you can put this either on the right hand side of the keyboard where it normally goes, or you can attach it over on the other side on the left. And of course, in the bottom here, we have the braided cable, which comes in its own little ROG monogrammed bag, detachable for easy convenience, portability, etc. And one final thing is we have our little ROG owner's pack. So we'll open this up. It's just got a couple of little extra bits in here. So if you watched our ROG Spatha video, then you'll know about these little ROG cards welcoming you to the ROG community. So we've got one of those in here. You've got a couple of case badges. These are metallic stickers. They've got that nice metal finish on them. So they're pretty thick, pretty sturdy. And we also have our manual, which hopefully is mostly self-explanatory. So you might not need to do too much reading of that, but it is there for your convenience anyway. As soon as you get this out of the box, it's clear that this is an awesome looking keyboard. Fully aluminium backed with floating keys and fully RGB. It has a subtle signature ROG pattern over the surface of the board and an illuminated ROG logo at the base near the spacebar. It is the perfect combo of classy minimalism and gaming aesthetics. As you might expect with our first true ROG keyboard, this is designed not just for looks, but for functionality as well. So the whole board is Cherry MX Red keys, even the, the ones up at the top, MIDI keys, function keys, escape, etc., all fully mechanical keys. There's potentially gonna be other switches available as well. So do have a look out on various retailers if you have a particular preference. However, if you're new to mechanical keyboards or gaming keyboards in general, you'll probably find that MX Red is the one to go for. So yeah, if you are a, a newbie to mechanical keyboards, you'll probably find Red is the best one. So now let's have a look at some of the functionality you can get with the ROG Armory software. So this is the first thing you'll see when you've got the ROG Claymore plugged in, and this is the customize screen. So any key on your keyboard can be customized to whatever you want. So for example, if we have a look at F1, we can change it to various keyboard functions, mouse functions, macros, which you can program yourself. You can set it to launch programs. You can have various media controls, which are pretty handy. So skipping tracks, forwards, backwards, play, pause, etc. window shortcuts, or you can just fully disable it entirely, which can be good for windows keys and all that sort of thing. You also have the option of disabling certain buttons or combinations of buttons, which can stop any annoying accidental exiting of your game or any other sorts of issues. And of course, there's quite a few different profiles as well. So you can set various different things depending on your preference or whatever your game you happen to be playing, etc. As you can see, you can also link this to various programs. So when you launch particular games, you can have it automatically load up into a profile of your choice. Now over here in the lighting effects section, you'll see that there are quite a few different effects that we can go with. So for example, static, the most basic, pick yourself a color, hit save, and then it will make all the keys light up in exactly the color that you want them to. There's also a couple of other different effects here. So let's check out, uh, how about wave? So we'll try that, put it on green, give that a save. And you can see there's a slightly different lighting effect going on there, a kind of, well, a slow wave through all of the keys going lighter and darker. But perhaps the most exciting is the custom effect settings. So with this, you can customize various keys to your heart's content. So there's a couple of gaming presets here. So 
For example, if I hit W, A, S, and D, I can make myself a static effect for, let's have this rather stylish purple color. And you'll see that that has lit up by itself. And then if we add a new effect, for example, a wave, and we make that blue, and we can set that over all keys except W, A, S, and D. We now have our gaming keys set up to be that nice pink color that we looked at earlier, and the rest of them will be glowing blue. So there's quite a few different settings and things that you can play around with here, so I would definitely recommend having a little play around with these settings, getting creative, and seeing what you can come up with. The macro tab here I talked about very briefly earlier, so all you do with this is record a set of keys or a single button press for a certain amount of time, and then you can save it and then use that with any other key on the keyboard. That's particularly good with the number pad, you set that up on the left hand side, and then you can have a whole bunch of macro keys. Instead of having dedicated macro keys, you can just use the number pad. So that is very handy. Over here on the next tab, we have stats. So this is a little extra kind of fun bit. So what you do with this, you can record your keystrokes. So you hit record, for example, and then it will record your button presses over the various keys. And then when you finished, you can hit stop, and it will show you your keystrokes per minute. So if you find that kind of thing interesting, you just want to know some little stats about how much you press all the different buttons over a, a game of Dota or League or whatever, then you can do that. You will be able to get two versions of the ROG Claymore. One is the version that we've got here, which includes the number pad, and the other, the Claymore Core, doesn't. So if you've got a particularly compact setup at home, or you just don't think you'd really use the detachable number pad, then the Core is the one to go for. If not, if you want that full Claymore experience, then just the standard Claymore is the one for you. Both versions of the ROG Claymore mechanical RGB gaming keyboard will be available soon from a variety of retailers, so once they're available I will put a link in the description somewhere so you guys can find out a little bit more about it. But yeah, that is pretty much everything about the ROG Claymore, so thanks so much for watching the video, please let me know your thoughts on it, I'm genuinely really impressed with it, I think it's an awesome piece of kit, genuinely one of the best gaming keyboards out there, so definitely worth considering if you need a battle station upgrade. Um, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. ASUS